Tom Pelissaro, NFL Network's NFL Insiders, um, talking about Amari Cooper and the contract situation with the Browns. The surprise holdout of all of mini camps was Browns wide receiver Amari Cooper, though maybe shouldn't have been that big of a surprise. He has been playing now entering year five of a five-year, $100 million, what I'd call a cocktail napkin contract where he would just do $20 million <laughs> each season. Remember a couple of years ago, Dallas deemed that too much. They were going to cut him. They trade him for a late-round pick to Cleveland, and all Amari Cooper does is go out and have a couple of consecutive 1,000-yard seasons. Probably not a surprise, Judy, where the receiver market is going, that Amari Cooper also wants an upgrade if not a new extension to lock him in with Cleveland not a surprise keep in mind he has had late season injuries the last two years and he's going to be 30 years old and so that might give the Cleveland Browns pause on the other hand they haven't really found a suitable number two that they can depend on so they really need Amari Cooper on the Cleveland Browns and Casey um, both of those are true the the contract that the mm -hmm. Cowboys came up with it, it, what a mess. What a mess that is down there. And, they, and they're, gonna, they're going to end up paying a lot if they want to keep Dak Prescott coming up as well. But I digress. Um, earlier in the show, Mark Cooper made it pretty clear he's looking to get paid, um, mm -hmm. e even in jest. He's going about it the right way, though. He's not, it, it's not a big show. It's not a diva. I'm sure he's made it clear to the Browns. And I would think they come away figuring out with a way to make Amari Cooper happy and at least for a couple of seasons. Yeah, there's too many smart people involved in this for them not to find a way to make this work and be amicable for both sides. If you look at Amari Cooper do 20.8 this year, and he considers he wants to get paid, not that that's insignificant money, but just, just for a second, assume that he ha he's forced to play on that 20.8 this year. Say he has the exact same season he had last year, 72 for 1250 and 17.4 catch. He'd be renegotiating next year at the age of 31. So he wants to get this done now. The sooner, the better for Amari. And it just for me, it comes about the length of the contract, getting something both sides are comfortable with. You know, personally, I'd like to see Amari here the next this season and the next two. I think more realistic is he's here the next two with that third year being not guaranteed. And I think that's probably the sticking point between both sides. But it, there makes no sense for them not to come up with a solution between now and the time these guys had to Greenbrier. Yeah, and... and it's something that this front office is really good at. They'll, they'll find a way to get guaranteed money up front. They'll find a way to bring his cap number down, and they'll find a way to make sure. You, you might even get that third year might be incentives. You know, it's incentive-laden, it's incentive-driven, that if he goes out and does it, um, he, he gets a little bit more. Uh, the other thing is the injury. He's played through some pretty significant injuries and been very productive. But again, I get it. He's 30. Mary Kay Cabot, um, Brown's beat reporter, was on the show. She wrote an article. There are 30-year-olds that are getting paid pretty much signi yeah. pretty significant money more than Amari Cooper. So I, I would imagine they will correct it to the market because that's kind of what this front office has done. They want to keep them, and this front office has found a way to keep guys they want around. Yeah, and, and they have added some intriguing talent to that room, but to their point, he is a proven one. You can't ignore that fact, and I don't see that ending anytime soon. I just think it becomes, you know, after a receiver's 32, how much can you guarantee? How much do you want to lock into that future? But between now and then, I think that he's definitely worth, worth what the market would dictate. I'd say somewhere in that 26 to 29 range, I think that that's probably what you're looking at for Amari Cooper. Yeah, and you find a way to make the cap hits kind of spread out. Mm -hmm. uh, and you got a signing bonus up front, so he gets gear. He has no guaranteed money. Um, so that's yeah. that's kind of the interesting yeah, He thing. wants security, and I think it's just going to come down to a ton of void years on the back end. Right.